Hi, welcome to Harvard Applied Math 205, a graduate course in scientific computing and numerical methods. In this video, we're going to look at using the singular value decomposition, or SVD, to compute the low rank approximation of a matrix. This is one of the very useful features of the SVD, and is one way that we can get a lot of insight into a matrix's structure. It's also useful for effectively compressing the amount of information that is stored in a matrix. One of the most useful properties of the singular value decomposition is that it allows us to compute an optimal low rank approximation of our matrix A of size n by n. And to do this, we can recast the singular value decomposition, referred to as the SVD, in the following form. We say that A is equal to the sum from j equal 1 to R of sigma j times uj times vj transpose, where R is the rank of our matrix A. And this follows from writing our matrix sigma in terms of the sum of matrices sigma j, where sigma j is defined as a diagonal matrix, but where only the jth singular value is present in the jth row and jth column. If we look at each factor uj times vj transpose, then we'll see that this is a rank 1 matrix and each column is a scaled version of uj. Suppose that nu is between 0 and r, and let's define a subscript nu to be the sum from j equal 1 to nu of sigma j times uj times vj transpose. So in other words, we take our full sum that would go from j equal 1 to r, and we truncate it after just nu terms. So we have the following theorem in this case. Suppose that we look over all matrices b, of rank less than or equal to nu, then we find that the difference between A and B in the induced Euclidean 2 norm will be minimized when B is equal to A subscript nu. And furthermore, the value of that induced Euclidean norm difference will be equal to sigma nu plus 1, i.e. the first singular value in the sum that we neglected. So, in other words, A subscript nu gives us the closest rank nu matrix to A measured in terms of this induced Euclidean norm. And a similar result actually holds for the Frobenius norm. We find that the same matrix A nu also minimizes the difference between A and A nu. But in this case, the value of that minimum difference between the two is equal to the square root of the sum of squares of all of the neglected singular values, from nu plus 1 up to r. These theorems indicate that the singular value decomposition is an effective way to compress data that's contained within a matrix. And if the singular values of A decay rapidly, then we can approximate A with just several rank 1 matrices added together. And in the next video in this series, we're going to take a look at an example where we can perform this compression on a sequence of images.